Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to this edition of Morning Brew. I'm so glad to get back on track. Sorry about last week between the holiday and uh, getting the live feed going for, for the services and stuff like that. We, uh, we ended up not doing it last week because it was a short week, but I'm glad to have you back today and this week. Um, I love digging into the scripture and giving you all something to chew on throughout the week. And, and so today's edition of Morning Brew, this week's edition of Morning Brew, um, I want to talk to you about who am I? And this thought comes from Philippians 2, 1 through 4. And the idea of looking at who am I, but how do people see who I am? And what was interesting about this is I was reading this in a devotional. And, um, and I was reading this, by the way, I hope you all have your coffee. I was reading this in the devotional and this devotional was actually talking about a business model. And the question that they were asking in this, in, when you're, when you're, when you have a business is what do we want to be known for right when you're a business do you want to be known as a cruddy business that's not focused on customer service and and the people you serve or do you want to be known as someone that takes care of their customers looks out for their customers has interest in their customers and as i'm reading this i started thinking you know it's gonna i'm gonna connect this all back here in a second but who am i what what do i want to be known for and what do people see me as? And, and that's the questions asked for businesses. And it started to make me, I was like, man, that is an amazing self-reflection question. What do I want to be known for in, in my life? Um, and, I, and I go back to the aspect of, of, you know, I want to be known as a man that, that loved Jesus with all his heart, loved God with all his heart, um, uh, that put others before himself in that in that really had a passion for Christ. But that's what I want to be known for. But then I got to ask myself, what am I known for? How do people see me? Because if my if my vision of myself doesn't line up with what people see me, see me as, then I'm missing something. Right? You look at um was it in James chapter, I believe it's chapter uh James chapter 2. Uh, we're taught James talks about faith without works is dead. It's that same principle is I can talk all I want about faith and about living this life full, just full of Christ. But if it's not what people see, then what I say means nothing. And the scripture that that I came in on is this. And this is this is really what I want to be. Who am I and what I want to be known for? And Paul says in in Philippians 2, 1 through 4, it says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. I find verse three and four, the whole verse one through four is important, but three and four really hit me home when I talk, thought about who am I? Because you see, it says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you in the interest of others. And I find that, you know, as I go through life and, I, and when I when I get so self-absorbed and so focused on me and my feelings and my and what I need and I take my eyes off of others and and God's love for others um, I start losing focus I start getting off track I mean if you look at in, in Timothy 2 3 for, through 4 it says that God desires for all to know him right I want my desires to be God's desire so when I go through life I have to be more intentional more deliberate about who I am and what I'm doing I need to be more more attuned to what's going on around me and the people I come in contact with. Because if I take this scripture and, and I put it into the perspective of life, and, and, and I don't look at my own interests, but the interests of others, it'll give me a diff different perspective on the people I come in contact with every day. The person that cuts me off on the roadway, the person that may be um, the, the cashier that treats me uh, wrong at the, as I'm checking out, or, the, or, or a friend that maybe just doesn't respond the way I want them to respond to, or somebody in church that tends to rub me the wrong way. When I start putting 
others before myself. The discomforts of myself and the, and the judgments I tend to put on others because of myself. And I start looking at others and their true need and who they are and putting their interest and the interest of God's desire and his love for others before me. I start looking at people with a different perspective. You know, there's a lot of chaos going around on right now in, in our nation because of some poor choices of poor choices and, and ill actions um, up north of, of some police officers. And, you know, it could be so easy to step back and judge the actions of those that are protesting and becoming so upset and violent and whatnot. But when I take away my 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 political views and I take away my personal views and I'm like and I start looking at people the way God wants me to see them. My motivation then becomes, you know what? Those people are searching for something to hold on to. And the best thing I can do now is pray for them and pray that they encounter someone or something that changes their hearts and bring, maybe this is the opportunity for them to actually see that they need, they need God. And may, may, that might sound, that may sound out left field to you. It may sound crazy, but really when you put things in perspective and who am I, how do I want people to see me? How do, how do I want to be seen and how do people see me? I want to be seen as someone that has a loving heart, has a forgiving heart, and has a gracious heart, and has the mind of God, has the heart of God. And, uh, and when you start evaluating yourself like that, I think it really, it really kind of forces you to change your perspective and how you see others. Because you know what Paul says here is important. In humility, value others above yourselves. So take this time, and that, that scripture when I just read that again just kind of really hit me hard. Just in humility, in humility, put down my pride, put down my judgment, put down my views, and just, just totally neutralize that and just come with a, a heart of love, grace, and, and, a, and prayer. So this week, I want to ask you this, ask you these two questions, evaluate yourself. How do you want to be seen by others in relation to how, what Christ calls us to be and, and being, and in being a, and being a ambassador of faith and being a Christian, how do you, how do you want others to see, you? how do you want others to see you? And then be real with yourself and then ask yourself this question. How do others see me? Ask yourself those two questions. Reflect on Philippians 2, 1 through 4. And uh, just take some time this week and really ask those questions. Really do a self-evaluation of yourself because it's so important that we continually grow in Christ daily. And we continually to challenge ourselves to change from selfishness to grace, to grace and mercy and love. So God bless you all. Thank you for joining in Morning Brew this week. And I hope this word really uh, was uh, something you could chew on and grow on. And you've got any suggestions, got any things that God's speaking to you about, please comment below. Either you, you, you can comment on YouTube, Facebook, or however, send an email in. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for joining in Morning Brew. God bless you.